They are puppets. I pull their strings, and then they dance. Okay, it's time to kill Jin, the puppeteer. This is a mob-based fight, just like Netsack, so... Same build as last time. If you need the build, it'll be in the description. So let's get into the fight. His whole gimmick revolves around puppet strings. Each turn, he'll cast puppet strings onto a puppet. The puppet cannot die until all stacks are depleted. He, in this order, he will go puppet. So this guy will always get it first. Then nimble puppet, weighty puppet, and puppet Angelica. What it doesn't tell you is you can kill off the puppet and the stairs will jump, attempt to jump over here. It's not going to have a target. It will disappear for the turn. So that makes the fight a whole lot easier and it's just easier because you have a lot less dice to deal with and everyone will die. So let's get into this. So first turn, everyone's going to draw one more card than normal. And this is kind of, you want to kill fast. So Chorus is going into here. Then I'm going to take the slowest person. So let's say, we're going to take Eileen. She's going to go in for two-sided attack with him. So Eileen's going to pick up the kill on this, so I don't have to worry about flashing with her. Oh, holy cow, everyone wants her dead. Now I can start worrying about other dice. We can kill off Weighty Puppet as well this turn. This turn, Nikolai is going to use Concentration onto J1. Probably going to take one of the Sailing Poles just so it doesn't screw with us. And graze the grass onto Angelica in this order. That way Angelica will get the mark. So we can hurry up the kill on her. So that puppet's going to die. Now we gotta start redirecting stuff. I'm going to redirect the Freak for an emotion level right there. And I'm going to throw another one onto Replush Flesh. Uh, BG. Not BG. Marianne's going to go in for a one-sided attack onto the Puppeteer. So we can start breaking the strings because it's on the first one. And just provide general buffs for everyone. Uh, one thing I am going to change is this. Motion level, motion level, motion level. Motion level. And smoke brick on here. Yeah, that looks good. I just want to take some pressure off of Eileen. And I'm not too worried about getting hit. We should be able to finish the fight before a stagger even happens. But the whole goal is to try and get as many emotion levels so it keeps refreshing the light. And we gotta hope for min and max rules at times. Okay, that's a way puppet dead, good. And that's the Nimble Puppet deck. All for the cost of getting hit a bit. It doesn't really matter why Abnormality Page would take, so I can take Fleeing, it doesn't really matter. And we're just going to pull off the same stunt again. Nikolai's going to go in for... Nikolai needs to get an emotion level in order for the strategy to work, so I'm going to take a Sailing Pulse from him. And now we're going to kill off Angelica Puppet. So we're going to start smoking her up with pretty much everyone. Uh, and she's just going to keep applying buffs because we need to get as many buffs as possible on for everyone. Uh, that will go first. Faint will go in here. And it's okay to just overkill the Angelica puppet because she requires a lot to take down. Use leg break. Lay, break or lay this turn so everyone else will start dying because we need to get the damage buff for next turn. Okay, that looks good. Let's go. Nikolai got. Nikolai really needs the emotion level up. And then next turn, he's going to be able to draw all the combo pieces he needs. Well, she needs. Nikolai's a female. strength and that destroys the final string right there 
Yeah, I think Angelica lives by one. Oh my god, she lives. Oh well. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. We we won the fight at this point. We did not get the combo. Okay, usually Nikolai would be slower, so you would use Disposal. You would play Inhale Smoke. And then you would use Disposal right after to kill him. In this case, I got unlucky, so... And I didn't get the kill here, so I have to do this fight a little bit more, which is okay. I can just use BG onto here, that would kill her, then I can start applying smoke onto J1. And since I failed to set things up properly, we got this. Uh, I'll use... I'll use Disposal here so I can stop the combo. I'll show you what the turn was supposed to look like. I don't know if you can kill him from here though. Possibly. Usually you need everyone at full light in order to do it. Oh, I forgot to attack Nick. So the damage is going to be a lot less, but at this point, J1 is dead. He cannot deal with everyone right now. And I don't even get everything as well. Lovely. But at this point, everyone will just play on strength, gain stuff. For people who do not have it, I usually give them more strength cards. So more strength, more strength. Just play all the strength cards possible. And usually you're able to kill him the turn before. But you see, all the board on the left side is completely gone. And at this point, he'll go into phase two of the fight. But since he's already we got rid of all the puppets, he's kind of a joke. Bye-bye, J1. Much easier. So much more easier. 